Welcome and thank you for choosing to have total joint surgery at East Texas Medical Center. We hope to make your stay as comfortable as possible. Here's some information to help you prepare for your arrival. There are two parking garages at ETMC Tyler and both connect to the hospital with a skywalk. Parking fees are posted as you enter either garage. For patients who are handicapped and have the proper permit, a parking lot is available in front of the hospital. Please come to the first floor and main lobby of the hospital. Behind the receptionist's desk is admitting. The clerk will assist you with filling out the paperwork and escort you to the basement where surgeries are performed. When you arrive in the surgical processing unit, you will change into a gown. Please leave all valuables, including jewelry, wallets, purses, cell phones, and other items at home or with someone. A nurse will go over your health history and start an IV and prepare you for surgery. Your anesthesia care team will visit with you about the pain for your anesthesia and pain relief after surgery. Make sure you let the staff know about any allergies you have for your safety. Your surgeon will also come by and mark your extremity. When the surgery team is ready, you'll be taken into the operating room where the anesthesia will be administered. The next thing you will remember is waking up in the post-acute care unit where a nurse will monitor your vital signs and pain closely until you're awake enough to be moved to your room. When you arrive on the third floor, the staff will be expecting you. Your nurse will answer any questions you may have. Remember, recovery starts here. Always let the staff know about your pain so we can help you manage it. We expect you to be in the hospital two days. You'll be provided any medications the hospitalist feels are appropriate to combine with the medication you're given in the hospital. These may include an acid-reducing medication, a stool softener, and a blood thinning medication. As with any medication, there may be side effects. Please make sure to ask the staff if you have any questions. The surgeon expects you to get out of bed on the day of surgery. While you're in the hospital, your physical therapist will work with you daily. They will help you with mobility, dressing, grooming, and any other needs you might have. Your surgeon and hospitalist will visit with you daily and give you a chance to ask questions. You may have a dressing on your operative side or possibly a drain to remove fluid from the area. The staff is well trained in caring for these devices and can answer any questions. You may also have hose on your legs, which are white stockings to help prevent the formation of blood clots. The machine attached to your legs is called a sequential compression device or SCD and is also used to prevent blood clots. You will need to wear the hose at all times except bath time while hospitalized. The SCD sleeves can be removed when you are out of the bed. You will also be provided with a device to exercise your lungs to prevent pneumonia. Your nurse will explain how to properly use the machine. You will be provided with a menu to order your meals from room service at ETMC. Meals are served between 6.30 a.m. and 7 p.m. Meals are made to order and delivered to your bedside approximately 45 to 60 minutes after placing the order. You may call your order into 6 menu 66386 from your bedside phone or a food representative will be happy to stop by and assist you with placing your order at the bedside. Your nurse will ask you about your pain. Please be open and honest. We want to help you manage your pain in the best method possible. The nurse will ask you to rate your pain on a scale of 0 to 10. 0 means no pain and 10 means the worst pain you can imagine. Please do not wait until your pain is out of control to let your nurse know you are hurting. Pain is much easier to control when it is moderate or mild than severe. If there are any alternative methods that you want to try, please let your nurse know. If you need help at home, the case manager can help. She refers patients to appropriate therapy and discharge disposition by meeting with the surgeon, hospitalist, physical therapist, and nursing staff. She will discuss your preferences with you for your continued rehabilitation after discharge from the hospital. As with any surgery, there are risks involved. Mainly, they include deep vein thrombosis, or DVT. Signs and symptoms of a DVT are a swollen, painful calf, which can progress to a pulmonary embolism, or PE. A PE is a blood clot that has traveled to the lungs. This is a potentially fatal complication. Blood thinning medication, compression device, and stockings are all preventative factors for this complication. There is also a risk for infection. 
please make sure you wash your hands with soap and water before touching your incision. Also, you must wash your incision with soap and water daily unless your surgeon has given other instructions. There may be a nerve injury, bladder infection, slowing of the bowels, death, delayed wound healing, loosening of hardware, and wear of hardware. The nurses and staff are aware of the complications and will do everything possible to help you prevent a complication from arising. These risks are why it is important for you to follow the care prescribed by your surgeon and hospitalist. Please remember that you must participate in your care and therapy. You must relay your pain to the staff, communicate any concerns, and ask questions to help get you on the road to recovery.